Hello guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Today we'll be discussing what types of horror games can you play and not pay a dime for it. We all know how popular Dead by Delight is, but not everyone can spare $20 for a game that they actually won't play that much, but still want to enjoy a quality horror game. Well, you've come to the right place. Today we'll be discussing two pretty good horror games, and you can choose depending on your personal preference. Okay, first, let us discuss what type of game Dead by Daylight really is. So, in its basic form, Dead by Daylight is a multiplayer game, a multiplayer horror game, piling five people, of which one is a monster, and four are survivors. The survivors have to escape by activating a number of generators across the map, which in turn will illuminate the exit. The monster's goal is to kill every human in the game and sacrifice them to the gods of enmity. Through various hooks positioned around the map. So the qualities we are looking in free to play games is that it is a multiplayer game, that it is a free to play game, that it is available on Steam, that it is a horror game by default, not by mods or anything else, that anyone can play, that as well as Dead by Daylight communication is key, but most of the games, or should I say, the games on this list will not really fulfill the role that Dead by Daylight has, because if they would fulfill that role, they would be called Dead by Daylight. So, first on the list, we have Deceit. Deceit is a multiplayer game where you and five other people have to escape. The problem is, two out of those six people are infected by a virus and they have to kill everybody else. The four innocents in the game have to escape and or kill the infected. But even if they kill all of the infected, the game is not over for them, they still have to escape. So, there is suspension till the end. This game takes the core element of Deadlight, in fact being a multiplayer horror game and that it has monsters. One of the difference it has comparing to Deadlight is that you do not have a singular powerful monster and that is unkillable and that you have several maps, so they say map chapters. So unlike Dead by Daylight where you know who your enemy is and you know where to hide, this brings a little more suspension because the man right next to you can be a monster and when the lights go out you could be dead. And that is where we introduce the light factor. In Dead by Daylight you can die at any time unless you escape or you are a monster. In the seat the things are a little different. Like I said you have six people, out of those six people two are monsters. And the monster's responsibility is to drink blood during the day, or should I say during when the lights are on and then transform into a monster during the blackout. And during the blackout they have to kill all the other four. So a monster knows who the other monster is, but the humans don't know who is innocent and who is infected. There are various ways to discover this, but it mostly depends on trusting each other and believing in one's truth or lie. The next on the list that I have prepared for you is SCP The Secret Laboratory. It is a multiplayer game pitting about from 20 to 30 people against each other, separated into five different teams, the Nine-Tailed Fox, the Chaos Insurgency, the D-Class, the Scientists and the ACP subjects. The Nine-Tailed Fox unit objective is to kill every SCP subject, rescue the scientists if possible, and kill the D-Class, along with any chaos insurgency found on site. 
the Chaos Insurgency in return is to save the D-Class, kill any nine-tailed fox operatives, kill the SCPs. The scientist's objective is to escape the facility and aid any nine-tailed fox operatives they encounter. The D-Class infect prisoners who escape their cells. Objective is to help the Chaos Insurgency and escape the facility. The ACP are in fact monsters of different kind, for now categorized into three groups. The Plague Doctor, the SCP object categorized Keter, and the SCP object categorized as Euclid. These SCPs are tasked with escaping their cells and killing every and all humans found on site with the aid of the android which controls the doors and other electronical devices on site such as the camera system. Along with the elements of first person shooter this game encompasses a sort of a puzzle game where you have to navigate the lab corridors that are maze-like and almost every room has four doors and four exits leading you in different ways and your objective after playing the game enough is to memorize every turn and twist which will in turn help you win the game because you will be efficiently able to reach from point A to point B. The other important aspect of the game is the key cards. There are various types of key cards allowing you different kind of permissions, ranging from the lowest key card able to open the most of basic doors to the more complex one able to open almost everything. In order to progress through this game, you have to master the basics of these key cards, because if you want to escape, you will need that knowledge. Unfortunately, there aren't many games that fit these criteriums. The criteriums being that it is a 3D game, horror, and multiplayer, like I mentioned before. So, aside from these three games, to my knowledge, there is only one more, Nosgoth. But this game, to this date, is no longer supported officially, and you cannot download it from Steam or anywhere else. We shall see if 2018 brings us any more multiplayer free to play games of the horror genre like Dead by Daylight or Deceit or by that matter any other game on this list. But for now we have to make do with what we have. If you have any suggestions leave them in the comments down below. If you like this video press the thumbs up, if you dislike the video press the thumbs down. If you want to share with your friends press that share button and I will see you in the next video.